Hey guys, as a video creator, I know your struggle to keep coming up with cool effects over and over again. Well, don't worry, today you'll learn three new awesome effects that will take your motion design game to the next level. Let's open up After Effects. First, an effect inspired by the mega famous series Arcane on Netflix. It's that awesome scribble effect and trust me, it's everywhere. So. How do we make it? Of course, start with your footage. This can be anything, but I went for a close-up of a face because it gives us so many possibilities. Inside After Effects, create a new composition and drag in the footage. Now we need to motion track the face so that our scribbles stick seamlessly. Open up the tracker panel. If you can't find it, go to the window menu on top. Click track motion, place a tracking point on a high contrast area like the nose hole. Then hit analyze forward. You don't need to track the entire clip, just enough for your scribbles to follow. When that's done, create a null object. Right click in the timeline, choose new and null object. Then go back to the tracker panel, set the edit target to that null object we just created. And then click on apply. Now let's add the scribbles. If you want, you can download some scribbles online. Then import the illustrator file and drag the first scribble into the timeline. Keep it only a few frames long. Position it over the tracked part of the face and parent it to the null object using the pick whip tool. Easy to make the scribble feel more alive, open its position and scale properties. Alt plus click the stopwatch icon and add a wiggle expression. Wiggle, open brackets, 50 comma 10, close brackets. Now it jitters a little, making it look hand drawn. Next, let's animate the edges. Select the layer, go to layered in the top menu and choose auto trace. In the pop-up, change the channel to alpha and hit OK. Boom, now the scribble is traced with masks. But now why did we do this? Because now we can apply the scribble effect, which uses those masks to add animated strokes. For the scribble effect properties, set scribble to all masks, change the fill type to inside edges, tweak the stroke settings and switch the wiggle type to jumpy. Animate spacing and path overlap for more dynamic motion and suddenly the scribble looks super cool. To finish it up, add chromatic aberration. You can use VR chromatic aberration or Red Giant's version and slap on some glow. Keep repeating this process with different scribbles to create an insane animated sketch effect. And to really sell it, throw in some grungy overlays and light leaks. That's what ties everything together. Now, as a video creator, you should really check out Audio. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Audio is a platform for creators with extremely high quality music and sound effects. You can browse music and sound effects the old way, or you can use Hans AI, a tool kinda like ChatGPT, where you can describe the song you need and boom, endless results based on your description. Now, with the Audio Pro app for iOS and Android, you can simply log into your account and browse music and sound effects from there. Whenever I have a moment, I just open up the app and start creating background music playlists for my videos. You can then download the music you need later on your computer. Absolutely beautiful. Now there's one thing I really want to mention. Whenever you find a song you like, just click the lightning bolt and audio will give you a huge list with similar songs. I honestly can't imagine going back to boring stock music, so definitely use the code AEBASICS for 70% off the audio pro plan. Check out the link down below. Next up, another trick you need in your arsenal. Remember when we made the dancing building effect? Now we're going one step further. We're going to split and build up a building. Something you've probably seen all over Instagram. Start with a building shop that's easy to separate into different blocks. Make sure there's no camera movement. This makes everything easier. First, let's create a still of the first frame and import it into Photoshop. Use generate a fill to remove the building and create a clean plate. This makes our lives so much easier when separating parts of the building. Back in After Effects, import the clean plate and place it below everything. Next, duplicate the original shot and on the lower duplicate, mask out the floor. This keeps any moving elements intact. Now take the top duplicate, right click and choose freeze frame. Then duplicate the layer a bunch of times, one for each part of the building you want to animate. Mask out each building section on the separate layers. The more precise you are, the better. Once that's done, we need to add the insides of the building. Grab the pen tool, draw some simple shapes behind each section and use radial gradients to add depth. Make sure your perspective matches the original building. Then select the building's part and the interior shape. Right click and pre-compose them together. Now it's just a matter of animating them. Adjust the position, scale and rotation to make the building reconstruct itself. Want to make it even better? Add some fake camera movement to the whole shot. And now you've got a next level building animation. And now finally, one more trick, a freeze frame motion trail. This one is perfect 
for action and sports videos. Start with a clip that has big movement. This could be slow motion or normal speed. Drag it into a new composition and duplicate the layer. On the duplicate, use rotoscoping to separate the subject. If you need help with rotoscoping, check out our tutorial that's somewhere info I can write here. Now duplicate the rotoscope layer multiple times. On each duplicate, find a point where you want to freeze the subject and hit freeze frame. You can do this by right clicking on the layer, going to time and choose freeze frame. The key here is that each freeze should appear right after the original subject passes it. Now we need to adjust the length of the layer, making them visible just on the moment we freeze frame them. We also need to arrange the layer so that the main rotoscope subject stays on top, followed by each frozen clone in order. Next, we're gonna add some effects, starting with duplicating the original shot. And on this, we can add an echo effect, then increase the echo time, boost the number of echoes and lower the decay slightly. Then I add directional blur to my echo layer. I adjust the angle to match the movement and crank up the blur length. Of course, I want to add extra style so I can recolor the echo trail or add some glow. I can even apply chromatic aberration. And when you put everything together, you get this awesome motion trail effect that makes your subject feel like they're tearing through time. And that's it for today. If you want to learn three more awesome VFX in After Effects, click the video right here. Thank you so much for watching.